What's up guys, it's Bebe Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. I'm gonna be filming a day in my life. I have so much to catch up on with you guys and I have some cleaning to do today. I'm actually just gonna put you down right now and we're just gonna get caught up. So this weekend, I did not vlog. I took the weekend off from filming and it was nice, but I definitely missed you guys. On Saturday, I was just editing and then I went down to the pool and then that night, Brandon and I went to dinner at Monzu's, which is an Italian restaurant here. I had never been and I did talk about this in my get ready with me if you saw that video, but the dinner was really good. I got a chicken and potatoes dish, which was so bomb and then we got a charcuterie board and it was just a really good dinner and then after that we went to Suncoast Hotel which we go to a lot but it's because they have a movie theater in it and we love going to movies so we went and played blackjack for a little bit just because we had some time to kill before the movie and then we went and saw gosh I always like suck at saying this movie name the hitman's bodyguards no the Hitman's Wives Bodyguard, and it was a really funny movie. It kind of like started to drag on at the end though. Like it was really funny in the beginning and then it was like, okay, is the movie over yet? So I really liked the beginning of it for sure. And then on Sunday, it was 4th of July and I spent it with his family. I filmed the get ready with me of what I wore that day but it was so fun just having a pool day and barbecuing and being with all of them. It was like honestly the best 4th of July I've ever had. <laughs> and we took a picture that I posted on Instagram which is really cute if you wanna go see it. <laughs> but today I need to do so much cleaning. I really need to like vacuum, wipe everything down, wash my bedding, like I need to have a solid cleaning sesh today. And then I have some packages to open up that I got, so we'll do that. But it's just gonna be a good day and I wanted you guys to be part of my day today. <laughs> I missed you so much over the weekend. <laughs> but got my coffee, so we're ready to go this morning. And yeah. Gonna start doing some cleaning. I just took out my products. I like to use the Clorox cleaner and bleach on the counters, the barkeeper's friend for the stove top, and then this stainless steel cleaner for the appliances. And then I always use microfiber claws, but I need to empty the dishwasher. I ran this last night, so I'm gonna start with doing this first.
just took these out of the dryer and they feel so warm and nice so i just need to put these on my bed but i pretty much cleaned my entire apartment so i'll show you guys how it is looking my aritzia order arrived everything that i picked out from the sale So I got just like a basic white ribbed tank and I like that it has like the raw hem at the bottom. This is in an extra small and then I also ordered a pair of the TNA biker shorts. So hopefully these will fit and then I can wear them like with the ribbed tank. And then I ordered a little set shorts that are waffle material. And then I got a matching zip up hoodie to go with it. I've been really into matching sets. And then I also just got a tank to go with it. So I can wear it as like a three piece, but it has just like this little cut out detailing so I'm gonna try all of this on to see how it fits but I'm really excited about all of it first two pieces I love the ribbed tank this fits me super well I like that it's like really cropped and it is like a tiny bit see-through you could just wear a strapless bra with it and if you don't want to wear a bra you can just like wear it at home or wear something over it too but I feel like it's just like a really good tank and then I love these biker shorts the size fits me so good they're not like too crazy tight in the thighs and the material is insanely soft I'm so impressed with these the biker shorts that I have been wearing today are from Brandy Melville and I've honestly had them for a couple years they're just getting a little tired and there's like a part in the seam that's ripping so I wanted to get like a new pair to replace those since they're like my staple biker shorts but this is super cute and just like really comfortable and I got the top and the shorts both in an extra small love this set as well super cute just having another three piece because you guys know i'm obsessed with that misguided one but i really like that this is waffle material and just like really cozy i got all the pieces in an extra small and they all fit me i could have gotten the jacket in a small and the shorts in a small if i just wanted it to be a little bit bigger but this set just is like a smaller style in general and these shorts are definitely just like shorter kind of shorts so i don't know if sizing up would really like give me that much more length and the waist is perfect like they're not too baggy but it's just super comfortable and cozy for lounging around the house and i could also wear like the top and the jacket with other things not just these shorts so i'm glad i got all of the pieces and I got another waffle material set from Misguided, so I'll show you guys that one as well. But I'm just like so obsessed with matching sets right now, it's kind of ridiculous. This is the set from Misguided, and putting this one on kind of makes me want to order the shorts from Aritzia in a bigger size. Just because I do like how like loose and big this is. Not like crazy big but it's just a little bit more comfortable so i'm kind of debating that but i just really like the material of this and just like how cozy it is and this one was honestly really cheap i'm pretty sure i got this for 15 dollars. so if you want a good deal on lounge sets you should definitely look on misguided for that and I got this in a size zero, but I will link everything that I got and then put my sizes in the description box so you guys can reference off of it.
my apartment is all clean. I just need to take that trash out to the trash chute. My vacuum died, so I'm charging that. And then I also picked up in the living room. I cleaned this coffee table with the glass cleaner, and I literally love this table. I think it's so aesthetic, and it's really not a bad price. And then in my room, I got the bedding on, and that's all washed clean so i'm gonna be excited to sleep in fresh sheets tonight but glad to have a clean place i just got down to the gym i'm wearing my white fox set and then this zip up jacket is from amazon it's from the men's section and i got it in a large but it's super comfortable and it was pretty cheap and then obviously my fave sneaks on that are so comfy. You need to order them if you haven't yet. <laughs> Honestly, you really do. They're so good. But today is back and biceps. I forgot to tell you guys that I did start a live 2.0. So we're stepping it up, friends. We were doing a live 1.0 and now I'm doing 2.0. you guys how do people do this <laughs> it's so hard okay I think I need to do one more <laughs> no way no way I just hope Brandon is not watching this you guys it's a little bit later now i had a good workout earlier and now i got my new comfy set on from misguided it's so cozy you guys i literally am obsessed with it i know they have it in a tan color too and i'm like hmm do i order it <laughs> but i got some kombucha and i figured for this video we could just do like a kombucha and chat you know just like chill on the couch and just kind of like have a little story time i know that you guys have been asking a lot of questions about an apartment and living alone and all of that and i figured instead of just doing like a q a we could just chat for a little maybe later i can do like another series about this about the apartment and everything but i just kind of wanted to like chill and chat with you guys with some kombucha so kind of just like starting out i did ask you guys on instagram if you had any like questions and like what you were most curious about and a lot of you are really just wondering about how i deal with feeling lonely and just kind of like the process with getting my apartment and saving money and all that and so i kind of just wanted to give the backstory so you guys could understand like how it went for me rather than just answering your questions and like giving you advice like i just want you to know my journey and so we're just gonna chat it up right now i'm gonna take you way back <laughs> and so Back in 2019, I graduated college and for six months after I graduated college, I lived at home with my mom and then for six months after that, I moved to Vegas and then lived with a friend here. So for an entire year after I graduated college, I lived with two different like people, my mom and my friend's parents and I was able to save money the entire time and not pay any rent. So a lot of you guys ask about just like saving money and all of that and I was able to save for a whole year before getting my first apartment and that's truly how I was able to get my first place and then start buying furniture. 
so I got my first apartment a year after living with other people and then when I did get my apartment I filmed that first apartment shopping haul and those are honestly the basics of what I think you need when you're getting your first place so you can go back to that video maybe I'll do like a whole list for you guys of things that I bought but to be honest with you, like I didn't furnish my apartment right away. My mattress was on the floor for a couple months. I didn't buy a bed. I didn't have nightstands for a couple months. Like I didn't have all of my furniture right when I got my apartment. So if you're getting an apartment, like just understand that it's okay if you don't furnish the whole thing right off the bat because I did not do that. It took me literally a year because I've lived in my apartment for a whole year now to where it's like actually fully furnished. So take your time with getting stuff and just remember that like it's totally okay to not have it all done. So I would say like in terms of like the whole financial side of it, I wanted to have a couple months rent saved up before getting my first apartment just as like a security blanket and then also money to be able to buy furniture and I was able to save the money by living with someone else for a whole year. So if that answers the question, I hope that you guys are able to like see how it was for me for that. And then with getting my apartment, I furnished it over time and Obviously, this is my first place and I know that the biggest thing that you guys are curious about is like feeling lonely and I get you like there are so many days when I feel lonely too, but I think that there are a lot of things that you can do to cope with feeling lonely and I did like write a couple of them down because I didn't want to forget what to say in terms of like telling you guys how I deal with being lonely and I think like obviously the main one is staying connected with friends and family that is huge for me so whenever I feel lonely I'll pick up the phone and I call my mom or my brother or my dad or just like someone so that I can talk about my feelings and see how they're doing and just actually speaking with other people really does help even if you don't go see them just chatting with them I think makes a difference and even if that's just like texting I'm just making sure that I'm staying up to date with them so definitely make sure that you're like reaching out to people and when you do feel lonely like recognize those feelings and also just be okay with it like it's okay to feel lonely like we're human and we are allowed to feel alone but also try to do something to fix it so talk to someone about the fact that you're feeling lonely like don't try to hide those feelings definitely try to just acknowledge them and then try to fix them so when I'm feeling lonely, I'll even tell my mom, like, I'm feeling so lonely right now. Like, it's just hard. And she'll, you know, encourage me and stuff. So I like to actually not just reach out to someone, but really explain my feelings because I think that helps me move forward from it. And then also another thing that I like to do when I'm feeling lonely is do things for, like, self-care, self-love, like self-appreciation, like something for me, whether that's taking a bath or watching a show that I really enjoy or just doing something that makes me personally feel good so that I can kind of like get out of that feeling of being lonely. So that's just like kind of a simple thing. I just like try to do things that I enjoy. And then another thing that really helps me with feeling lonely is getting out of my apartment sometimes I feel like when I'm lonely it's because I'm like cooped up in my place and I'm just like deep in my thoughts 
but if I like get out and I go to the gym and like do a workout or something that makes me feel so much better so I really encourage you guys when you are feeling down to like get out of your place go for a walk go to the gym like do something to get your mind off of just thinking about feeling lonely and I think working out really does help with that it just like boosts your mood and it makes you feel super good so really try to exercise when you are having those feelings and if it's like late at night or something and you're not able to go work out then maybe just like do some stretching or just like something else that can make you feel good and then another thing that goes along with like getting out so i think you know when you're when you do live alone and there isn't anyone to hang out with and there isn't anyone to talk to like what do you do for me, I like to go to the store, honestly. I really enjoy going to the store, if, whether that's Target or Trader Joe's or something. And what you can do is little acts of kindness for other people and that really does make you feel good. Like when I go to the store, if I'm feeling super lonely, I haven't talked to anybody, I will compliment someone in the store and to see the smile on their face that you complimented them and they say thank you it just makes you feel happy and good and you don't even really remember that you were feeling lonely so really try to step out of your comfort zone and talk to other people maybe like pick up a conversation when you're at the nail salon and you can like chat it up with the person next to you or when you're at the grocery store and the person is ringing up your groceries like compliment them or ask them how their day is like actually talk to the people around you even if they're strangers like you never know how much that could make their day and when you make someone else's day you really do make yourself feel good so i try to be kind to other people because it really makes me happy and then also when i'm at home i like to have a background noise on so whether that's like music or a podcast or the tv like i like to have noise so that it doesn't feel super like lonely and like dreary in my apartment like i like to have something on so that's something that you can do in the evenings too especially is just like listening to music or having the tv on and watching a show so you can take your mind off of it and you guys know i watch shows all the time i'm a big netflix girl and i give you all the recs <laughs> but i really do think that helping shows i mean helping shows watching shows helps me with feeling lonely but those are the things that i honestly do when i'm like not feeling like my best so i encourage you guys to definitely try out those things and I want to see if there's anything else that I could touch on. I know that you guys were curious about like cleaning and stuff, which I kind of touched on earlier. And I don't have like a specific cleaning routine, but to break it down for you, I like pick up and clean every day, just like wiping things down. Then once a week, I like to do a little bit more of a deep clean and wash my sheets, my bedding. And then every month or so, I like to actually do like a full deep clean. So I don't have like specific days that I do things, but that's like a general overview. And honestly, just living in a clean space makes me feel more motivated in life in general. So I really just like having a clean apartment. It makes me feel so good. So I do clean kind of every day, but it just makes it easier on myself because then it doesn't like pile up. And then also I know that you guys have asked me about like a routine and everything. And I like to just like, you know, get up in the morning around 7.30 or 8 and start my day. Like getting up early always helps me because then I feel like I get so much more done. So try to wake up earlier. I really do think that that will help you as well. Those are like basically everything that I would think to answer for you guys and hopefully some of that information helps you. 
so that's just my little kombucha and chat but if you guys want to do more kombucha and chats let me know because we can include these in more vlogs <laughs> i have just been getting a video scheduled for tomorrow and also watching some virgin river you would think that i would be done with season two by now but honestly i've been a little bit behind on watching it and i really want to finish because season three is coming out in a few days so i'm trying to binge that this week and i also wanted to tell you guys brandon and i started watching who killed sarah that's been our show so many of you were recommending it and we wanted something to watch and we started that and it is so good at first we were really confused because we turned it on and we thought the tv was broken we kept turning it off and on because the show is in spanish but then they put audio english over it so like the words don't match up with the mouths and we were so confused we were like netflix is broken like what is happening <laughs> but it's really similar to money heist where they do that if you have seen that show before so it's just like a little bit annoying in our opinion but it's totally fine it's like still a really good show it's super intense and there's so many like plot twists to it so if you need a good show to watch you definitely should start who killed sarah and we just got to season two last night so i'm really excited to watch season two i've heard that it's even crazier than season one so I'll watch more of that this week too. It's the clean sheets and the fresh face for me. <laughs> I washed my face, brushed my teeth, put on my lip mask, and I am ready for bed. But I also turned the AC down. It has been so hot at night. I obviously know that it takes a lot to cool down like the building because it's literally 111 like every day this week and i've been leaving my apartment around like 74 during the day but i've been turning it down to like 68 or 69 at night because i don't know i've just been like so hot and i realized that i wasn't really sleeping that good and i was like why am i like not sleeping that well at night and i honestly think it was because I was overheating because last night I set it to 69 and then I left the door open for my room so there was like a lot more circulation and I slept so good so I'm realizing that I just need to turn my AC down more at night and then leave the door to my bedroom open. I usually don't like doing that and it kind of goes along with like safety just because I get nervous but I don't know if I answered this question earlier, but like I definitely do feel safe here. Like my complex is really safe and secure. They have like people that walk around monitoring it. And then also just like the way you enter the be the be what? I almost said beauty. The building is very secure so i do feel safe in my apartment when i hear a noise and i'm like in the shower that is the worst or when i'm blow drying my hair like those are the moments when i'm like oh my god is someone in here <laughs> but for the most part i definitely feel safe i usually just shut the door to my bedroom i am gonna go to bed so i'm gonna close out the vlog here but I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.